interrupt this transmission with a special report. Why can't I be the MVP of the league? Why can't I be the best player in the league? Hey, what's up, my units? I am back here with another video. Today, I just want to talk about James Wiseman. So, guys, if you do like this video, please like and subscribe. That means a lot to me. And thank you for the huge support I'm getting lately. I mean, I grew 60 plus subs since last week, and it means a lot. So, as I've been scurrying throughout NBA history, I found somewhat of a resemblance to James Wiseman. But, well, I want to say playing wise, more like situation wise. The NBA player that I'm talking about is second overall pick, Darko Milicic. These two situations are more alike than what you think. And it's very easy to help James Wiseman to not end up like Darko Milicic. They were both drafted into title contended teams. Both got limited minutes or playing times trying to help these teams out. My problem is that James Wiseman is getting forced into this tone that the Warriors want. You cannot develop your game in the NBA playing five to 10 minutes a game or being forced into playing a role that usually a vet is playing. James Wiseman is a score first center. Actually guys, I have a clip to prove this, so kick back your feet and watch these clips. Since in the G League this season, he told me, look, I'm 21, I'm young. I know I'm still learning. I've used those stints as opportunities. I don't see him as a demotion, as there's a huge play there, and I see it as a chance to get better. And I asked him what he's focusing on in those stints, and he told me setting better screens, getting to the dunker, communicating more each possession, and just my reputation getting better, guys. He took the G League assignment, not as Thompson. I'm going to have a moving screen there. See, that's where Zach Zarba is ruining the game. <laughs> like, Steve Kerr's trying to get this guy to screen more, and you got an official like Zach Zarba saying he's moving. Doesn't he know he's a young kid and needs to learn? Can't we allow this guy to, like, play? I mean, it's clearly the right call, but come on. And just because he doesn't fit the stand around and set a legal screen offense, it's hindering his game. His setting screens kind of got better, but still, he's still not getting any minutes. The Warriors got one of the worst road records, and they just love to blame James Wiseman, calling him bust and everything. I wouldn't even call him a bust. I'll call him that the team that he's in, they don't need him. In my opinion, the Warriors are just wasting his career. When, because when he finally gets to the point that they want him to be, it's going to be late for it, and it's not going to be anything for the foreseeable future. The Warriors need a defensive-minded big when they just don't want to run small with Kevon Looney. There are four teams I think the Warriors should try to shot Wiseman to. Those four teams are the Spurs, Hornets, Magic, and Pitt. For the Spurs, they can give a Jakob. Hornets can give a whatever pick they can get or other assets. Magic can give a Mo Bamba or Wendell Carter Jr. Pistons can give up Isaiah Stewart or other things. I could really see the Warriors going after the Spurs or the Pistons mostly because it will work easier and faster for both teams. Also, a Cade slash James Wiseman duo is something that the NBA just don't want to see. I'm trying to tell you that. My only objection to that is that James Wiseman is going to be traded on a turn of events of the draft order. So whoever doesn't get the first number one overall pick to get Victor Wembanyama, I really see one of those teams trying to trade for James Wiseman. Either way, I know y'all are busy, and thank you for taking your time to watch my YouTube video. Also, please like and subscribe, and peace out.